Come here, you're, you're going to play together again? Yeah. What, what are you going to play? It's a couple of tunes that Mike wrote. Um, it's actually a jig into a reel, and uh, we called it the full set. We call it the full set. The full set after the series. Yeah, after, after the series. Fantastic, mighty. <laughs> We all know Manchester as a, as a, as a huge city and, I suppose, in one sense, a rock and roll city. What was it like growing up as an Irish traditional musician in Manchester? Um, well, as Dad says, we went to the same music class together um, when we were seven and eight and carried on there to about 15, 16. Um, there was loads of sessions going on, so we were, we were always uh, going out to sessions. There was a lot of musicians around first generation, like Tony Howley and Matt, um, Peter Carberry. Um, uh, Arthur Guinness. Arthur Guinness yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there was a lot of music. We were surrounded by music, you know. Yeah. Do you know the way they always talk about, say, if, if you listen to one person, say, he's say, he a West Kerry style of playing music, or he is a, a Sligo or a Clare style. Is there a Manchester style of music? I think you take the best bits from everybody that you like, don't you? You listen to, like, I don't know, I mean, I used to listen to loads to, like, John Sheehan, Sean Maguire, Andy McGann, uh, my Uncle Des, you know, so you, I think you... Everybody takes little, little bits of what they like of uh, each individual person. You kind of try and roll it into, into, yeah. your, own, into your, own, yeah. your own style, I suppose. Yeah. You write a lot of music, Michael, yeah. and I suppose. But, but what are the purest 
the, as in people, the um, purists think of your music? Well, the, I mean, the first set of reels we played, I wrote them ones. Um, I wrote them jigs there. I mean, they'd be more traditional feel. Yeah. But if some of the tunes are right, wouldn't would be more uh, inspired by Eastern European music. And uh, just I remember recording uh, a track, and I played it for my dad because my dad taught me that Tim Whistle is a big fan of trad music. And I remember his comment was like, "What sort of music is that?" <laughs> and uh, where, where does that music come from? And I said, yeah. "I made it up." And he says, "Well, I tell you what, it's not come from me." He says, "It must be Russian in the family." <laughs> 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 So, you know, it doesn't suit everybody, like, yeah. it's not everybody's taste, like, you know. Do, do you find it easy to compose music? To compose I do, songs? yeah. I mean, I, I'd be inspired by the different places where I travel to, and, let's say, northern Spain or into north, northwest yeah. of France. Um, and then if a, if a band is making a, a CD, you'd have to write a tune, you know, you'd have to come up with a couple of new tracks for the album, so then you'd, you'd put your head down to... you get a few notes in your head, and then it builds from that, you know. Yeah, do you see the way he just says it's so easy? You've just got to get a couple of notes in your head, and it comes out. It yeah. doesn't happen to all of us, you know. Uh, it does. It's in everybody. <laughs> but how, how would you say, if you, obviously if you write a tune about something, is that where the name of the tune comes from? Or yeah, sometimes you'd name it after a place you've been to, or you name it after... A uh, good, good, good place for names is, is the horses. If you just open the paper, the mirror, and have a look at the horses. <laughs> a good name for a tune in there, you know. <coughs> uh, you, have you ever written any tune about Desi yet? Have you? Not yet, no. What, what, you had a good title earlier on, was it? Desi Does Dingle or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that being written later on. It might be later now. on, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you going to play another tune? Are you going to play a tune on your own? Uh, I can do, yeah. Lovely give stuff. You, give you a real, uh, an old traditional tune called Kiss the Maid Behind the Barrel. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Lovely stuff.